Today, let's tackle an interesting algebra problem that challenges our problem-solving skills. Also, this is considered as one of the difficult Math Olympiad questions. So stay tuned. Our goal is to find the value of x that satisfies this equation. Equation is x squared minus x cubed equals 36. Can you solve it? Okay. As the very first step, if you observe it closely, you can see that 36 can be written as 27 plus 9. And what is 27? It is 3 cubed, right? And also, 9 is 3 square, right? So this 36 can be returned as 3 square plus 3 cubed. But we need a minus sign here and not plus. So if you think a little bit, we can rewrite this 9 as minus 3 square as well. And this 27 can be written as minus of minus 3 cube, because minus 3 cube is minus 27, and adding one more minus will make it a plus. Excellent. So it is clear that one of the answers to this question will be minus 3 just by hit and trial. Now, in order to find the other two roots, we will factorize this equation. For that first take, this 36 on the left-hand side and rearrange this equation to make it minus of x cubed plus x squared minus 36 equals 0, or multiply both sides by minus 1 to get x cubed minus x squared plus 36 equals 0. Now, in order to factorize it using x plus 3, rewrite this as x cubed plus 3 x squared minus 4 x squared plus 36 equals 0. 3 minus 4 will be minus x square only. Now, take x square common from this to get x square times x plus 3. And from here, take minus 4 as common to get minus 4 times x square minus 9. This x square minus 9 can be written as x minus 3 times x plus 3. So far, so good. Now, take x plus 3 common from both of them to get x plus 3 times x squared minus 4 times x, minus 3 equals 0. Or x plus 3 times x squared minus 4, x plus 12 equals 0. Now this will give x equals minus 3. And for this part, we will be using the quadratic equation formula. We have a, which is equal to the coefficient of x squared equals 1, then b, which is the coefficient of x equals minus 4, and c, which is the constant term as 12. Plug them into the formula to get x equal minus of minus 4 plus minus, under root minus 4, whole square minus 4, times 1 times 12 upon 2, which will give minus 4 plus minus, under root 16, minus 48, or under root minus 32 upon 2. Now, this will introduce the imaginary term i as under root minus 32 can be written as under root minus 1 times under root 16 times 2 or 4 root 2. So x will become minus 4 plus minus 4 root 2 i upon 2 or minus 2 plus minus 2 root 2 i. Whew. This is the solution to our problem. That was amazing, isn't it? So good.